Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out Mike's Vehicle Spotlight on Facebook today to keep informed on any upcoming videos and vehicles that I have in the near future. And remember, always wear your seatbelt. Enjoy the feature. Today's vehicle spotlight shines on the 2011 Ford Ranger XLT. The Ranger made its debut for 1983 and has been Ford's compact pickup truck ever since. This fourth generation debuted for 1998 and will be the last generation of the Ranger offered in the US. Of course, since 1998, it has seen a few minor changes in its styling. Shown here is the large chrome grille that comes standard on XLT models. The front bumper shows off two fog lamps and a center air dam behind the front license plate holder that are all wrapped in black body cladding. Today's Ranger is a super cab model, which is 203.6 inches long and sits 66.3 inches tall, being that it is only a 4x2 model. The side styling of the Ranger hasn't really changed much since 1998. The body panels are mostly straight besides the trim line that runs with the bumper trim. Still simple and boxy, the Ranger still keeps a nice profile. XLT models come with powered side mirrors with black caps. And shown here are the optional black side steps. This Ranger came on the standard 15 inch silver painted steel rims and features four wheel anti-lock brakes with traction control. The rear of the Ranger continues to look very simple. The blue oval sits large in the center of the tailgate, while the rear bumper features the step guard and license plate holder wrapped in black body cladding, and one exhaust port sits off underneath the right side. The trailer towing hitch also comes standard. The interior of the Ranger is very basic, still keeping some of the styling characteristics from the 1998 design. These standard cloth seats are supportive and look good. The door trim features the door handle placed close to the window, lock and mirror controls and there is also a small door pocket. While the Ranger may be a compact truck, there is still plenty of space up in front. The driver sits in front of this simple 4 gauge cluster that exposes a 7000 RPM tack, 120 mile per hour speedometer, and gauges for your coolant temperature and fuel level. Your odometer and tripometer sits underneath the tack.
The four-spoke leather-wrapped steering wheel comes standard and features your cruise controls on the sides of the airbag hub. To the left of the steering wheel are your exterior lighting controls. Your emergency hazards are found on the top of the steering column. The center stack's controls are all simple and basic. The standard stereo is an AM, FM, CD, and MP3 player that is also Sirius Satellite Radio compatible. Down below are the easy to use climate controls. At the bottom of the stack is a small storage pocket in between your traction control override and your audio input jack for your digital media device. On your floor is the manual transmission shifter and two cup holders. You have sun visors for your driver and front passenger, which also includes a mirror. The center armrest opens up to a nice storage console. And the glove box is also nicely sized. In the back of the Ranger Super Cab, you will find two rear seats that are mounted on the sides of the cab and can be folded up when they are not in use. The cargo bed is 6 feet long and holds up to 37.4 cubic feet of cargo. Under the hood is the standard 2.3 liter 16 valve 4 cylinder that produces 143 horsepower and 154 pound feet of torque. It makes an EPA estimated 22 miles per gallon in the city and 27 miles per gallon on the highway.
is driven through a standard 5-speed manual transmission with an overdrive feature. It also comes standard as a 4x2 model, 4-wheel drive is available. And being a manual transmission, there is also a manual release for the ignition switch. That concludes today's vehicle spotlight on the 2011 Ford Ranger XLT. I'm Michael Adams, see you next time.